Mike Burns picks up his fifth strikeout. Strikes on Ethier, and he struck him out. Burns is having a career day at Miller Park. Mike Burns rings up Russell Martin. Hi guys, Coach Mike here, and today we're going to go over a couple drills. First one we're going to go over is another just T drill. But on this T drill, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize a baseball, and we're going to utilize our three heavy balls. The three heavy balls come in different weights. We got a 12 ounce, a 14 ounce, and a 16 ounce. This is a good drill to get kids to swing through the ball. A lot of younger kids, as soon as they make contact, they stop their swing. Well, with the heavy balls and the weighted balls, it makes them and forces them to swing through the ball because it's so much heavier that that ball doesn't really come off the bat as much. They really got to get through that ball. So this is just a good drill, especially for tee work, just normal tee work on teaching kids how to swing through that ball with these weighted balls. And we'll demonstrate right now. All right, the first one we're going to do is we're just going to go with a regular baseball. And as we have it set up, we've got the tee with our net and our strike zone. I've moved the strike zone up a little bit higher, giving the hitter a visual on where they want to hit that ball. We want to hit that ball up through that, that strike zone or that hitter's zone, which we'll call it on this drill. All right, here we go. Give me a good stance. Get closer to the... All right, now we're gonna utilize the weighted balls. Swing through it. Good. Good, and we'll end with another baseball. Good. All right, go ahead and pick those up. So like I said, that is just a good drill and to go over it, you mix in a baseball to have that good feel on what that baseball is going to feel like when you hit it. And those weighted balls, they're going to feel the difference between the first time they hit a baseball, they go through those weighted balls, and then when they go back to a baseball, they're going to be hitting it much harder because they're swinging more through that ball. All right? Jagger, go ahead and continue to do those drills right there. Jake, get up here for me. On this next drill, we're going to do a little bit of a soft toss drill. And on these, we've got mini weighted baseballs and we have a smaller bat with the smaller barrel all right we call that the sweet spot bat on these we have little weighted balls that are under load and overload baseballs or, or balls under loads here is three ounces we go to five and a half ounces about the, the weight of a baseball we go to seven and a half and nine and a half and it's the same concept. You're gonna to have to swing through these weighted balls that are heavier than a baseball, but you're also gonna be working on that hand-eye coordination with the sweet spot bat and the smaller weighted balls, the micro uh, weighted balls. On this drill, soft toss, we got our bucket top to be our home plate. The person throwing the soft toss, you wanna to be about one step in front of the home plate, two steps to the side, okay? From here, when you do your feed, you want to make sure that your wrist is stiff, that the ball is, is easy to see for the hitter. You want to come back and flip straight forward. You don't want your hand to go too high because now you're going to have more loft on that ball. All we want is a nice good flip that's going to go towards the hitter's front hip. All right? On this drill too for the hitter now, what I want the hitter to do is they're going to be in their stance. And before, right, we throw that pitch, we want them to get in their load or launch position. That is their stride with their hands back. So we're not worrying about the timing of it right now. All we're doing is worrying about rotating through the ball. We want to keep our hands inside the ball and rotate through that ball. So they're going to be in their stance. They're going to get in their load or launch position with their stride hands back. Then you will make a nice, good, soft toss pitch to their front hip and they're just going to rotate through that ball. Jake, will you please show us? Load launch position, go. Stride, hands back, that's it. And then from there they will swing. All right, here we go. Go back to your stance. Load. Good. Load. Good. Load. Load. 
Now on that last one, be careful. When we load on our step on that last one, Jake liked to, he kind of drifted his body. We don't want that body drifting. We want to step and coil those hands back and then we can rotate through the ball on our swing. All right, we'll go through it one more time. Load. Okay, keep your head on it. Load. Good. Load. Good. These are just a couple good drills that you can run at your practices um, with different stations for all the kids. And uh, like I said, it helps them really get through the ball on the underload, overload, and then the, the heavier balls over there on the T work. All right, so go out there, outwork, outplay.